Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Booster Pack runs in the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. To be honest with you, I don't really know what we're like doing anymore in the booster pack. We kind of, I'm not going to say we did all the new content because that's ridiculous. But we have done, we, we filled out the post-it note with the new character like way faster than expected. Are there new challenges? No. So I think we'll like, we're going to merge the backlog with the main thread which is going to be these videos moving forward. Don't worry about the administrative side. Like, it'll go back to the booster bag stuff will start on the other non-inverted thumbnail eventually. But for now, we might as well do, like, some runs with other characters to experience some of the new uh, booster pack stuff, ideally. But these uh, booster pack specific videos, I mean, they may or may not slow down for a little while now that we've actually um, knocked out some of the booster pack stuff. But, yeah, don't, don't get too perturbed about it right off the bat. I am going to focus on trying to... Oh, yeah, really good idea right there. Uh, I'm going to focus on getting new booster pack stuff in the process here, but mostly we're just going to see, you know, in Isaac, you never know how uh, the existence of some items is going to change the scope of the entire game. Like, as of right now, you know, the booster pack, you're like, wow, it's added a lot of new content, this new character, blah, 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 blah. But there's so much more depth, like, under the surface, potentially. Like, oh, how does Book of the Dead work with X character, you know? Is there... How does it work with X item? You know, is it something that we can start to look for as a victory condition? Uh, and then you gotta remember, you know, with the new character, how does basically every single item in the game that has any unique effect work with this character? So, I'm not suggesting we're done with booster pack content. Just that we're, we're done with the stuff that you can force. And the rest of it, we gotta let happen naturally over the course of, you know, the next... Well, infinity, I suppose. I will use two bombs. I'm very happy to have done so. We get a little aggressive on the first floor here. I, I, I don't know, you know, playing as Isaac, sign me up for all the damage in the world. Anything that has the potential to provide us with a useful benefit. So yeah, you know, temper your expectations. I'm gonna... Obviously, if we have the choice between booster pack items and non-booster pack items, we're going to take booster pack items. But we may not always have runs that get that opportunity. But we'll see some new enemies. I'm sure we'll see some new room varieties at the very least. Who would have thought your boy uh, NL in like five or six videos could get everything unlocked? And in fact, we actually took one video longer than was even necessary in the first place. <laughs> there was no need for us to do greed and then greedier. But again, this is... You know, one of the reasons I take a very long-form approach to, like, Isaac content in general is, like, hey, don't kill me, please. Um, is, uh, you know, who cares? One extra video in the whole scheme of things. Oh, no, we weren't the first person to finish the booster pack. We never will be. But we might be the last person to play it. That's, you know... You ever hear the expression, uh, first to, first to show up, last to leave? I'm, like... Eighth to show up, last to leave. It's probably not quite as good or admirable, but it's still, like, it's pretty okay. So we're going to come back. I don't really like where our HP is at in case that's not abundantly clear. I expected some red hearts to show up. At some point, they did not. Hey, we'll take Stigmata, mostly because it preserves our ability to survive. And we'll head down to the next floor. Throw something in there. It's actually okay, because I want to see what our... Uh, you know, how do the deals with the devil change now? You know, is Book of the Dead a deal with the devil item? Is Book of the Dead an item room item? I know we had it last run or two runs, uh, maybe like three runs ago now. I don't remember when we picked it up. I thought maybe we got it on the... On the... Dark room? So it... He's in the dark room pool, but I don't know... I mean, what isn't in the dark room pool? Angel items, I guess. So we'll see if we get a deal with the devil here. You know, the, the fact that we got two DPS upgrades on the last floor basically means that we should be in a real good spot to get through this. But yeah, I don't know if I've if I've given my whole thoughts on like the booster pack as a whole. Um, I've definitely talked a lot about the new character. Maybe it's a little bit of a, you know, new sheen, but straight up I think the new character is the best alternative character they've ever done in Isaac. And uh, you know, don't get me wrong, I like Kane, Judas, I like Azazel. Eve's got some fun stuff. I hate Lilith, but it's an interesting idea. Uh, but the Forgotten is like the first character that hey, really seems like it changes the way that you uh, you play the game to a huge extent. You know, it's the first character with that kind of complexity. I think they're a little overpowered, but they're not overpowered in the way that Azazel's overpowered, where it's just like, you know, immediately upon starting a run, you have a win as long as you get some range. 
you know, you can just steamroll everything early. You know, it's it's a it's overpowered in the sense that they have a lot of they got a big toolbox, but you know, you still gotta use it appropriately and there's risks of losing. Although probably not too high to be fair with you. Um, but yeah, the booster pack in the whole, you know, that's probably not the way I should have expressed that. <laughs> On the whole, the booster pack is uh, is rejuvenated a lot of what I like about Isaac. And, you know, you know me. People have stopped believing it's a conspiracy theory that I can play this game until the end of time. I, uh, you know, I'm a creature of habit to an enormous extent. Try to eat at the same time every day. Try to wake up, go to bed at the same time every day. You know, if I if I have a task, I like to do it at the same time every day, and I'm resistant to that kind of change. I could play this game forever. It fits in with my worldview. It's just executing the same algorithm I've been learning for like six years, over and over and over, while talking about mundane garbage in the background. What are you again? Oh, you're extremely fast, but maybe like you you're very untanky. You have one hit left when you're in that phase. All right. Um, but even then, you know, I found myself getting a little ornery from time to time. Being rude about the retro vision pill and, you know, other needless cards and pills that do nothing and, you know, are ex essentially exist exclusively to provide a joke that is perhaps mildly amusing once and then never again and yet you're going to pick it up once a run for the rest of your existence. So, I was getting uh, negative about that and about bloat. I was always talking about, you know... Well, it's all well and good. You got all these cool mod items in there, but it takes away from the stat upgrades that you know, actually provide the bread and butter of whether a run is plausible to win. So all these items are cool, but at the same time, you know, they, they're kind of making the game worse. I, I genuinely believe so. Like, they're less unified, at least. So, uh, this booster pack, and, you know, it's clear that a lot of love went into it. You know, the Forgotten has so many handmade synergies that I really feel like, you know, around the time of Afterbirth Plus, without being rude to the developers, of course, Around the time of Afterbirth Plus, I feel like a lot of the synergies, they'd be like, well, there's just too many to make. Uh, you know, we can't control every synergy for every character, and I genuinely believe that. But at the same time, they kind of did for the Forgotten. Like, there's so many items that, you know, I mean, you could just, it might sound like I'm being a little bit insulting to Nicholas. I'm not intending to be, for real. But, you know, I, I don't know if it's just me. I would pick up a new item, and then when it didn't work on, like, if Hemolacria doesn't work with Mom's Knife, in my brain, I'm like, of course it doesn't. You know, there's no precedent set for stuff like that. So, when I'm playing as the Forgotten, and I pick up an item that seems like it should never synergize, the fact that it does is that much cooler. You know, it really shows that, uh, you know, they, they put their heart in this one for sure. There's a lot of a love and care and, I think, an understanding of, of what makes Isaac so fun. And then Polish, which is nice as well. Now, I still, you know get Isaac-ng.exe has crashed every time I try to quit the game. Again, if you're gonna have a crash, to have one right at the moment of you trying to quit is probably the best time to have it, but I, I digress. But yeah, I think, I think they knocked it out of the park with this one, for real. And something like ridiculous, 800 new rooms or something like that? It's out of control. And again, it's not just like and admittedly, I'm falling victim to, like, my own trap. It doesn't matter if there's 800 new rooms, if 700 of them are trash and 100 of them are interesting. But, uh, you know, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt for now. Because I think they've earned it on the rest of the booster pack for sure. So, yeah. I mean, it's not like I was... Here's the thing. If you were in danger of never playing Isaac again, you're like, I hate this game, I can't touch it anymore. Um, is the booster pack going to bring you back? No, it's, it's not like, you know, a full... Expansion. Wow, new ghost baby icon. That's how you know you've played too much Isaac. When you can look at this icon that is almost indistinguishable <laughs> from the earlier one and be like, that's a new ghost baby icon. That's how you know you played too much of this freaking game. Um, it's so close to the previous one. It's so close that now I'm like second guessing myself. Like, is that a new icon? Yeah, it definitely is. Anyway, so yeah, if you're if you're playing this game for the rest of eternity, like I am, it's a really nice addition. Oh, ruined my deal with the devil. Chance to grab that? Why not? Um, so I'm 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 pleased with it. And people, I don't know. They sometimes I, the people on YouTube, viewers on YouTube and Twitch. You know, I'm not trying to insult my target audience, but or my literal audience. <laughs> not really a target if they're already watching. But they, they ask these questions that I'm like, you don't need to worry about, you know? 
Why don't you stop playing Isaac? Well, I, I like it. That's the easiest answer. They're more concerned with, like, you know, the politics behind a decision versus anything else. Sometimes. Not everybody! But I'm like, you don't need to worry about that. If you like the content, watch the content. If you don't like the content, tell me why, and then don't watch the content. And see, you know, be constructive about it and don't watch the content. Then we're cool. We're all on the same page there. I don't play Isaac. I mean, it's nice that there's... Uh, you know, some stability in terms of the viewership. It's definitely the bedrock on which I've made my channel for sure. But like, we're living in we're in uncharted territory. This is like absurd levels of commitment to a series. You you literally could not do it as long as I have done it if you didn't enjoy the game. That's why I'm hoping those conspiracy theories are like put to rest. I gotta try at least because I want to get uh, Judas's shadow, but we'll see. Like in the time that I've been playing this game. YouTubers have have risen and fell, you know, streaming platforms have, have phased into and out of the ether and people have people who have never worked in this industry have entered the industry and then quit due to burnout since the time that I started playing this friggin' game. So I hope at this point anybody that even like two years ago was like, man, NL must hate Isaac. He's chained to this game and he can't escape it. Nah, dude. This is like the best game to be chained to. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thank God I didn't like accidentally get big at Dota or something like that. I would, I'd have to take off like two weeks a month just to get over the salt. Instead, I got chained to a game I, I really like. And I mean, it's not even really fair to say I'm chained to it. Like, as much as people enjoy watching it, um, you know, I'm lucky enough to have been able to diversify content and, you know, the Isaac stuff is, is really an outlet for me to, you know, vent my own improv bits. You know, we should definitely take Judas' Shadow. Even if we're not, uh, you know, let's... I mean, we should really take it. <laughs> let's, let's just take it. Um, it's an opportunity for me to do my own improv bits and also just, like, you know, talk solo. So it's, uh, it's nice, but, you know, they... We're also doing Dead Cells, Slay the Spire, you know, the, the NLSS is also my baby, you know, the kind of absurdist kind of like pseudo talk show banner we get up to on there is totally different than Isaac. Like, I'm really lucky. I got I got a game that gives me, first off, people enjoy watching me play it. Secondly, it's against the AI, which means inevitably, like, we win most of the time now, so I don't finish most episodes being upset <laughs> because I got bested by someone else online in my game of choice. And, uh, you know, beyond that, it fits my personality. Like, it's really a match made in heaven for me. It's just why I'm, like, really happy that people still enjoy watching it. And, you know, it used to be, like, I was amazed. And now I'm like, I totally get it. Because I watch other streamers. You know, there's, and maybe this is why people care so much about inside baseball and streaming. is because I talk about it all the time. <laughs> there's other streamers who are, like, they want to be variety casters. And a variety caster in streaming is just someone who isn't known for, like, playing one game. You know, or, or a couple of games. So, um, I, I'm not going to give you any examples because I don't know. Like, if you're watching this, you, you might be watching on YouTube. You might be watching to fall asleep. You got no idea, oh, my God, who any other streamers are. And that's fine. I just don't want to be alienating. And also give my competition any adver advertisement, right? So, um, that's a joke. But uh, we, you know, what we do on the NLSS, we're, we're kind of variety streamers. Uh, but also, we play a lot of Isaac. Less so on the NLSS lately, but for years we played a bunch of Isaac. And uh, I see other streamers, they're like, I hate that I'm saddled to my main game and I want to play other things. Uh, but, but people don't want to watch me, so I have to play this game that I'm kind of tied to. And I'm like, dude, that's sick. <laughs> I'm, I feel so happy that I'm like tied to a game I enjoy. Like, I'm, I'm so lucky that that's the case. And people will watch us play other stuff. But, you know, I used to sympathize with that side of things. And then, you know, I've been watching a lot of streamers lately. Uh, like, I'm... Again, this is extremely DAE, but, you know, I, I, at night is when I do most of my coding, whether it's, like, homework or personal projects. And, you know, it's nice to have a stream on in the background to kind of, you know, trick your brain into thinking you're getting involved in some kind of social interaction, even though you're not at all. Um, and, uh, you know, if I, if I start watching them because they play Rainbow Six and then I go to their channel and they're playing God of War, I'm like, you know what, I'll give them a chance. If after ten minutes it's not really my thing, I'll turn it off. I understand, you know, it's, I'm not doing it to be vindictive, like, you know, you didn't earn my viewership because you put, I followed you for this and now you've betrayed me. It's not like that, it's just like, you know, 
How did I find you? Well, I went to the Twitch directory, and I looked at the biggest streamers playing Rainbow Six, and I said, well, that's annoying, and I don't really like the way that this person is, you know, running the chat. It makes me cringe a little bit, and then I go to this person, and I'm like, hey, this person seems cool, and then, you know, it's not like I'm going to unfollow them, but I understand. It's the same reason, like, you know, when other series don't get the same kind of viewership as it gets. I'm like, I'm not upset, dude. Isaac's been around for seven years. That's like, you know, it's like the news. When a David Lynch show doesn't get as good a ratings as the local news in the local market, I'm like, I, I get it, dude. The news. It's the friggin' news. <laughs> that's the, that's like as a local station, that's your, uh, your sweeps. I don't know if that's how that works. Anyway, my analogy fell apart there at the end, but you should be used to that at this point. It's kind of nice to be in this position right here. We don't really care if we lose. Uh, or if we die. I do care if I lose, but I don't care if I die. I think I'm going to re-roll that. And I I don't know. That's close to being a wash, even though they're... It's, it's a wash, but in the best way possible, because they're both good items, not both bad. But I was, you know, hoping to get maybe like... Oh, yeah, really smart idea there. Uh, hoping to get an IV bag or something. Or a blood bag, rather. Out of our, uh, our many, many blood bank plays. But, you know, life goes on. We will... Well, my life may go on. We got an extremely strong run now, but it's in a dangerous spot. So I want you to give me a spirit heart. Thank you so much. And then I will pick up this, and it's a joker card. So we'll probably use that next floor. If we get... And uh, we will get some more money. Um, let's go to the item room first, but we should definitely buy more spirit hearts. Or... <laughs> Well, we still should, but this is really cool. Bed, please? One of these days, that's going to work for me, and I'm going to look like a genius. So I'm going to try something I shouldn't do. I'm going to blow this up. Oh, that's the worst. I was hoping to get a bomb and maybe something else back. Instead, I got exclusively the something else. Yeah, that's, that's pretty terrible. Yeah, well, two spirit arts, it, it will be then. Anyway. That's my thoughts on Isaac. I'm happy, even before the booster pack, which, you know, as of like five days ago, I didn't even know it was going to exist. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to play this game until the end of time. But I really appreciate that they came out with another booster pack for it. What's my like long, long, long term view of Isaac? I don't know. I'm just going to be honest with you. Like in terms of future expansions, you know, should there be an Isaac 2? I'm of two minds. Like, I think if they made an Isaac 2, you could refine what you got here. But at the same time, like, I think if if they were... I, I basically default to the wisdom of the developers, I guess. If they're like, we're going to make an Isaac 2, I could get down with that. I would... Considering all the free content that's come out for the game and the amount of time that it's existed, I definitely would not think of it as just being a cash grab. Um, but at the same time, Isaac uh, Rebirth specifically has been a really good uh, platform for deploying future content related to Isaac. You know, I don't know about you, but I almost look at, you know, Rebirth as if it's like Battle.net. Or it's like the League of Legends client or something like that, you know? It's, uh, oh, I definitely do not want uh, Mini Mush and Blister Shot. The jury's out, I guess, but, or Blister, I should say. Um... You know, I, they, if they came out with expansions for this, you know, for the next five years, I'd play them all, without a doubt. Beyond that, I'd probably still play them all, but, you know, five years is a long time. We'd, we'd have to see where we were standing there, I suppose. Who knows, I might be leaving in Acapulco on Putin Ear Profits by then. Now, I'll leave it to you to decide whether that would be a, a, a forward move or a, a backwards move. Uh, yeah, sure, let's give it a shot. Right now, this floor, uh, I mean, of course I'd love to get the boss rush, but it's really all about getting enough spirit arts from Dark Bum that we can feel good about the fact that we took both deals with the devil on the last floor and put ourselves in a tricky spot that is, you know, defensible now, but was a little scary for a bit. So yeah, I mean, if that's the final content that ever comes out for, uh, for Rebirth, that's okay. I'll take it, but... I'm hoping to find some synergies to go along with it. I love the new charge bar, but admittedly, this puts a real uh, damper on the pickup for uh, Death's Touch. But I don't know. Can you pick up... Can you avoid picking up a good item because it would make an item that's worse than it 
even worse or you can like retroactively have made it the wrong decision i don't think that's a smart idea i think we should evaluate items of brass tacks and see if there's any new uh, mom's knife synergies going on here i'm always glad like as well because the thing with isaac is it's like uh i gotta scratch my eyeball here it's like a an old neighborhood bar or something like that you know when it opened it was hot. It was the hottest place in the city back in the Studio 54 back in the 70s, you know? Place to see and be seen. And as time has gone on, more people have entered the Isaac community, more people have left the Isaac community. A couple of old star stalwarts have a problem. They're at the place every night, myself included, a few other streamers. Um, we'll play the game for the, the rest of human existence. Uh, I can't place a bomb there, actually. I'd have to get pretty lucky. But uh, anything that is like, hey, we got a new menu, it brings people back, you know? So I love, uh, you know, when I when a new content patch or whatever you want to call it comes out for Isaac, uh, I get a bunch of tweets and they're like, oh my god, you got to check out the synergy. And it, it kind of reminds me of the excitement that happened, you know, around that like magical rebirth release period. And to a lesser extent, Afterbirth, Afterbirth Plus, and, you know, even some of the more robust mods like Antibirth did, a, did an awesome job as well. Of can because once you know you play a bunch of Isaac, especially you know, you know when a, a, a patch or a booster pack or a expansion comes out, you know there's not necessarily that much content, so you uh, you know you figure it out after a while and you, you lose the magic to some extent. And you're just left with like you know the mechanics. I, I like that magical phase. Who doesn't? I like the mechanics as well, probably more than most people. Like I, I don't care less, or I, I could care less. I should say about a. Let me rephrase because I know it's going to make people upset. I couldn't care less about a new ARG. That kind of stuff doesn't appeal to me at all. But when it comes to like... I think we're just going to leave. Even though uh, obviously Gimpy could be a lot of fun. Let's just get the head. Oh, there's a tinted rock right off the bat. And Gimpy was probably the right choice. But I was a little scared that, you know, if we had 6 HP, we would do boss rush because it would be obviously... Uh, a good choice for us, but we actually could die before Gimpy or Dark Bomb managed to synergize if we did uh, boss rush in that situation. Anyway, the magical phase is nice. So is the mechanics phase, but you know, we get a lot of the mechanics phase, so getting a little bit of extra magic, why not? Do you believe in magic in a young baby's heart? That's Isaac, is the young baby. Y-U-N-G-B-A-B-I, young baby. Well, it's funny. It's a booster pack run. <laughs> All we've really seen are new enemies so far. But, I mean, I guess you do kind of reach diminishing returns when it comes to new content in a booster, patch or some, or booster pack or something like that. Because, um, you know, this is the fifth one. And there's been two expansions, and there are like a hundred items in the game to begin with, so you're not guaranteed to get new booster pack items. I want Book of the Dead, though. That's right off the well. That and the sacrificial altar, you know, those are the two items that interest me the most right off the bat. Is uh, those ones because the sacrificial altar is easy. The reason I like that item is because it explores a design space previously that didn't exist. The ability to sacrifice familiars at random at least, um, to, to get some kind of benefit out of potentially. And because so many familiars in the game are, you know, bad's not a nice word, but useless is maybe apt and no less offensive. <laughs> so many familiars in the game basically do nothing for you. Having the opportunity to get something out of those dead items, uh, and, and sometimes get a, another dead item out of them, admittedly, but, you know, it, that's a cool design space. And then Book of the Dead, is just because I got so mind flooded when I tried to use it that I, I really think I, I didn't do a good job and I uh, was unable to truly grasp the power that that item could entail. So I'm looking forward to seeing that uh, more often. And to be honest, the bookworm transformation is neither as ubiquitous nor powerful as the guppy transformation, I think. So uh, having another enabler for that is not going to upset the balance of the game in a meaningful way, I think. Um... A second bandage is like a really lateral move, but that's okay. We basically just can't take Succubus. Even if I hadn't been hit, I don't think we would have taken Succubus. 
a little disappointed we didn't gain more HP there, but eh, the run's good, you know? Like, it's not a booster pack specific run necessarily, but I talked a lot about the booster pack, whereas in the, you know, the parallel streams at the same time, all I'm talking about is how I'm never going to lose an Isaac again. So, you know, you get a different bit of commentary. And at the end, it's exactly the same thing, you know? I don't even like talking with other YouTubers about, like, or, or Twitch streamers about the business side of the business. I find it, like, very, uh... I just, I guess I find it uninteresting. Obviously, like, you have to do it. Because <laughs> you are, you are kind of a business owner and you're, like, you, you know, you're your own brand, but... When, it, when people that are in this business start to talk about, you know, political stuff behind the scenes, my eyes glaze over. And I'm like, man, I just want to... I'm aware of the fact that this positions me as some kind of, like, people's champion. So, you know, it's kind of self-serving to say. But, you know, I just want to make videos. Like, it's the most fun part of the business. I don't really... The rest of it, I'm not going to say take it or leave it necessarily. Because, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. But, um, you know, it's not nearly as interesting to me. But, you know, they're like... People ask me like, "What? Why would you play this game on the show?" Is it we? You know, we wanted to. Is what <laughs> what it comes down to. It's the same reason, like, uh, you know, the answer to whatever your question is. If you have questions about content being on the channel, there's like one of a few boilerplate answers. Like, um, you know, why did a series end? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One is bad viewership. The other one is I don't want to play it anymore. Those are the. There, there you go. You can apply that logic real easily into the breach um bad viewership and i told people in advance it wasn't going to happen uh or that that it was going to happen so we had like a real send-off and you know if you're ever wondering like wait why aren't you why aren't you doing a battletech series don't want to play it i don't have anything against battletech i think for people who are into that style of like slow paced strategy game it, it seems like a revelation i'm just not that guy it's it's a little slower than XCOM, and you know to my uh you know, I, I don't want to say that I have ADHD because I really don't. But you know, people have this uh, stereotype of me as, as having a, a poor attention span, which is probably true to a large extent. <laughs> but uh, yeah, to my you know 30 second attention span, uh, it, it becomes a little grating. So I don't think you would want to see me play it, and I also definitely do not want to play it on YouTube for a hundred hours. Uh, even though you know, before it came out, I was like, I'm looking to. You know, really sink my teeth into a meaty strategy game. And then when it came out, I was like, ooh, be careful what you wish for. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? And then the same thing happens, like, on Twitch all the time. It actually, this is one of the things that actually irritates me. But, you know, we have such a narrow uh, connection with people on the NLSS. Or a, a narrow roster, I should say, of people that we use. And we've had guests on the NLSS and a lot of them have worked. A lot of them have worked really well, but sometimes I, I think people, um, like viewers of other streamers think that we're like a platform for their favorite streamer to be noticed or like get more popular, which is ridiculous. Like, if I had the keys to the kingdom to make somebody on Twitch, I'd be making myself. <laughs> Are you crazy? I gotta... I gotta have a little self-interest there. You know, if I got the magic sauce, I'm gonna put it on my own barbecue wings. I should have said ribs. Ribs would have been a better joke. So, so many times in chat, people will be like, Why won't you have X on the show? Well, I mean, we've had the same, uh, you know, eight people on the show for the last three years. But sure, hey, you know, Cyberlord21 suggested we have this person on. So, hey, uh, you ever played Jackbox? No. Oh, you ever, you ever played Isaac? No. You got any anecdotes? Not really. You know, I'd, it's, it's, you don't just... You can't make up the chemistry that we got with our co-hosts. You know why? And this is being real. We all need to be free to insult each other right off the bat. And you have a stranger on the show. There's, like, no rapport necessarily. Um, you know, you, you gotta put the kid gloves on. You can't just be like, hey, you piece of garbage. If Nick calls me a piece of garbage, I'm gonna laugh. Because I know it's going somewhere. <laughs> if I call a stranger a piece of garbage, I think they're gonna be like, this guy's a real jerk. And they would be right, but I would only be being a jerk satirically for the point of a joke. But anyway, I don't know. That's I'm getting way too inside baseball, but I'm aware that sometimes people like to hear it. 
so if you like to hear it, I'll say it from time to time. Plus, I don't have any anecdotes. Like, I'm, I'm on an anecdote-starved day. Today's a Saturday. I, uh, I woke up at 8 a.m. because I got class on Saturday. Was my anecdote. I don't have an anecdote, you know? I went to class, I came home, I ate lunch, I recorded some videos. And then what am I going to do after this? I'm going to stream. Uh, and then I'm going to go out and play some board games. Yo, I got an anecdote. You guys ever played Splendor? That's like my favorite, maybe not my favorite board game ever. That's a slight exaggeration, but played like four games of Splendor for the first time in my entire life last night. It's a board game. That game gets me, dude. It's short, it's agile, and it's 100% mechanics driven. I'm in love. The game takes like 20 minutes. You can play with two, three, four people. Fast tear down and setup is super easy. Anyway, it's a dude, general gist of this video. Is, hey, check out Splendor. Great game. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Also, a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.